I am 23 years old and have never had a girlfriend. So yeah, I just wanted to do a video titled this. Um, I didn't know what to include, so I'm pretty much going to include why I believe I'm single. A lot of factors, I think, that contribute to my singleness. And yeah, um, so pretty much still in a trend because I think I've seen this video used a good bit of times or similar video titles. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with the number one reason is probably got a lot to do that I'm very, very, um, that I'm, I'm pretty shy and I just reserved and whatnot and just don't really say a lot. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to work on that, but I would say that's got a lot to do with it. And I think just to find a relationship, you probably need to do your best to get, get yourself out there and meet people. Then next. Um, next thing is, I'm going to say is, you know, I want to keep this around five to ten minutes. Um, so hopefully I'll get there. But, uh, next reason I think is just that a lot of dating advice is just flat out terrible. Um, one that, one kind of advice, I mean, is kind of just something similar to, you know, uh, just. You know, pretty much don't put any effort in. And, it, you know, someone will show up. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pretty much someone will show up. They act like, oh, if you don't put any effort in. Oh, one day. It's, I mean, it's kind of like having, if I have a dream car. You think, and, then, and I'm going to use that as the analogy for getting a girlfriend. You think I'm going to get my dream car if I don't put any effort in, if I'm not looking on Marketplace and, you know, whatever else, looking to buy a car, my dream car, if I'm not saving money up to get that dream car, you have to put in effort, I think, and I, I think that's just some terrible advice. And then another one is just like, <laughs> I remember one that I've seen, I think it was like on WikiHow, so... Step one, how to get a girlfriend if you're an introvert. What you're going to want to do is make sure you take care of your personal hygiene. You're going to want to make sure you're applying your deodorant very generously. Okay, and then second off, what you're going to do is make sure your clothes fit. I've seen so many guys... Who wear clothes that are much too big. Drop a couple sizes down. And wear something that fits you appropriately. Now step three. What you're going to want to do. Is you're going to want to. Go on lots of dates. With lots of women. Okay. I mean. I've literally seen that on Wiki, WikiHow. I'm pretty sure. It was basically. <laughs> very very basic stuff. Like personal hygiene and then it jumps on to going on multiple dates or a bunch of dates with multiple women like that's like if I could just do that then I wouldn't be on this but like I, I don't know I'm pretty sure sometimes there's literal channels like I'm pretty sure channels straight up are just terrible and, 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 they, and they know they're terrible and they don't really care they just they just kind of kind of want to draw their audience in more so they they say something that maybe the audience will agree with and, and to pull you in and stuff but in the end they I mean <laughs> if, if you quit watching their videos and you actually get a girlfriend and quit watching their videos it's gonna hurt them so they really just kind of like oh but you you didn't you didn't oh oh oh, 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 oh come on I mean are you even are you even following are you even subscribed to my Patreon? Oh, well, well, that's why you don't have a girlfriend. You're not even subscribed to my Patreon. I mean, seriously. I, you, you leave these comments on my videos. Oh, why can't I get a girlfriend? Uh, but you don't even subscribe to my Patreon. Okay. You're not even going to put in an effort. Oh, why don't I have a girl? Uh, well, that, there's a problem. How many of my videos are you watching? Have you watched every single one of my videos? Oh, oh, I don't have a girlfriend. But you're not watching my video.
pretty sure there's like channels. I mean, they may not say that, but that's pretty much kind of <laughs> what they want. <laughs> it's more about watching their videos and actual good advice. Like, I feel like you could give decent advice in one single video. <laughs> but, nah. Like, and, and this is going to get into my next point that I wanted to talk about. Um, we're at five minutes now. But it's uh, dating apps. And I've, you know, some channels make it like seem like it's so, you have to put so much effort in. And I feel like dating apps just are, are awful in, in general. And, and, you know, I haven't had a lot of success with them. And I think I would rather find a relationship in person. They just don't work. <laughs> And I just don't think, and, and, and a lot of times, like, dating channels that go over, dating apps make it seem like it has to be so complicated. If dating apps have to be so complicated, I would rather go in person. It'd be less weird. Why, like, why, why should dating apps be such, such a time consumer? Like, it's, it's just kind of dumb in my opinion. Like, I feel like dating apps should be the equivalent of mobile games. Like, casual. Like, I use it, like, I use it when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I mean, I understand, like, not doing the old, uh, middle-aged man type photos. Yeah, let's get a profile picture. <laughs> but, like, in general, like, I don't think you have to do all that. Like, some of them I've even seen literally recommend going <laughs> to get professional photos done for a dating app. And then so many dating apps are literally just mostly catered to, like, or mostly geared, like, well, <laughs> they're mostly just used, I mean, they, they just want to charge people. <laughs> like, some, like, preferences, that shouldn't be something, if a dating app requires <laughs> you to pay extra to put set preferences, like, that's so stupid. You clearly are just, <laughs> I mean, obviously anybody, I, I, Obviously, anything is going to be kind of with a desire of getting money. I think that's very common. But, like, you know what? I'd just rather go to, like, a random Discord or something and try to find a relationship than this dating app that I have to literally spend money on. I just think it's kind of dumb. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on. You have to pay. Mm. And then... Another thing is, like, I've noticed, like, they could definitely, which I know why they don't, because they can make more money off of people subscribing. And that's the thing about subscriptions I've heard, and I, I don't really know exactly how that would work for dating apps, but I've heard dating apps, with their subscriptions and stuff, they probably cater more to people who like uh, one-night stand type stuff, or uh, casual dating or whatever, short-term relationships, or whatever you want to call it, because they are going to use the apps more than somebody who's looking for a long-term relationship. They look for a long-term relationship, they find somebody, they're going to leave the app. So, I just, I feel like dating apps really aren't that great. They might have been at a point, but now it's just, they may have been, I really don't know, but they may have been at a point where, yeah. But now it's just more so... I think these app creators wanting a way to make money in this. And I don't know. Plus, I would rather meet somebody. Like, if I had kids, I wouldn't even want to have to tell my kids, oh, I met your wife on, uh, uh, whatever. Tinder or whatever. <laughs> or, did I say that wrong? I think I said that wrong. Kids, I met my wife at, or your mom at, I, I don't, I can't speak. But whatever I said. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But seriously, dating apps are kind of just awful. A lot of dating advice. Terrible. And, yeah. So, that's pretty much, I think, why I'm single. It's just really a lot to do with me being shy. But then dating apps, dating advice. Really kind of just misleading people and not really helping them. Um... One other I will mention, might as well, is another another uh, dating advice channel. I honestly would give the name if I remembered it for sure. But um, anyway, the channel it was I'm, I I should have rewatched it before doing this video just to 
get you like word for word, but it was basically some college student who was, you know, worrying about graduating from college and before graduating from college, he wanted to <laughs> get into dating. And I don't know how far along they were, um, but basically the channel said, just focus on school and look for a relationship after. That's awful advice. I feel like finding a relationship in college will be a lot easier than in your job. I mean, there's some benefits once you get into working as like having more money to date, but still, I don't think it would be worth it to wait because you're going to, I mean, at least make friends, even if it's not a relationship. That would be my opinion. But yeah, that's that's it really for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Ugh.